measure for ovarian cancer. Oral contraceptives taken for a long time offer protection against inherited ovarian cancer in a, a lot of them. So that's something that, and that it does not increase uh, breast cancer risk by OCPLs. Active surveillance, we have MRI surveillance, I'm not going to go, go into the details. Suffice to say that a combination of MRI and mammography has a 94% sensitivity, excellent sensitivity. You can do surveillance, early detection, and you can save that woman's life without any problems, but there is no evidence. But look at the patient side. In majority of the surveys, patients overestimate their risk. Gale model says 15%, risk perception 50%. Inherited cancers, 20 times more perception of risk. But after proper education and intervention, it reduces to 25%. So counseling is most essential, as earlier mentioned by Rajiv, as well as by Raghu. And in conclusion, the risk assessment is more important than its perception. The evidence is retrospective and not robust. Comparison of prophylactic surgery with active surveillance is not done as of today. And surgery is morbid with reconstruction, which is mandatory in this situation. So as the present evidence stands, RRSO is the only one, risk reducing uh, salpingo-oophorectomy, is the only procedure that has solid data to say that lives are saved. Bilateral prophylactic mastectomy, chemo prevention, active surveillance will reduce incidence, no evidence of reduction in mortality. So, before I conclude, I thought I should put per perception of a patient with inherited breast cancer, a patient with sporadic breast cancer, and a caregiver whose relative had breast cancer. Three individuals talking, this came in Southeast Asian Journal of uh, Oncology as a uh, viewpoint. And these three individuals put together say that there is risk insight, which is fear, uncertainty, vulnerability, and that leads to inability to take prudent decisions. The risk outside is stakeholder driven, propaganda driven, publicity driven, has limited information or limiting information forcefully, out of choice, out of volition and that produces, leads to risk to ex exploitation. Finally, the decisions are made, of course this is wisdom in the retrospect, that health decisions become popular shopping choices rather than informed ones. And over-awareness, in bracket anxiety, leads to over-treatment. And these decisions lead to perilous outcomes. I re come to my first slide that I showed, and there were question marks in that. I conclude by saying that prophylactic mastectomy in this situation was an unnecessary hysteria. It is anxiety saving, it's not life saving. And it is Angela Jolly's perception, personal decision. If I were to wake up every morning, that when is this act with the this water of Democrat going to fall on me, then I have reason to lose my breast. And that is to relieve my anxiety, not to save lives in population. Thank you very much. Thank you.